He's one of the proponents of this bureau of the background, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah, tell me more about it, Eric. Okay. Well, really, it's a, it's a community art piece that we put together, uh, myself and some of the staff at St. Pasco Bailon and the students. So it was a celebration of the church, the school, and the community. Mm -hmm. I am part of the community, so I volunteered because I saw something really special with the kids that were here when I was doing art workshops during the day. Um, from that, Myself and uh, another teacher, Mr. Watanwa, and the principals, and uh, some of the staff. We came together with a, a workshop where the kids would learn how to draw, paint, and then finally do a giant painting like you see behind me. Mm -hmm. And what it is also is fun celebrating our Catholic faith, but also celebrating the 150 years of uh, Canada uh, anniversary, and using imagery that's part mixed with the long heritage that we have in Canada. So definitely St. Pascal is like the main on the right, but you know, fellowship, uh, congregation, people being united is what we're trying to also mm -hmm. create with, our, with our, our, our mural itself. And really it's us, you know, me being an adult, working with um, older adults, youth, uh, you know, respect is very large in the Philippine community. So we're just trying to build more of a, a fellowship and more of a relationship because there's sometimes a disconnect with generations so uh -huh. it was really an opportunity to you know talk and work with the youth and really see exactly what can be brought out of them and I think you can see it there definitely in the mural. So where, where is this mural going? Um, it's gonna go into right now St. Pascal Waylon is being renovated because it's a very overpopulated school. I mean I think if it's 300 and there's I think almost 600 that are enrolled so mm -hmm. St. Pasco Bailon is going through a big construction right now and with the new building that's going to show up next year, it's going to go in by the main foyer uh, when we walk in. Also with the uh, mother and child art piece as well. Oh, okay. And for now, until then, it's uh, sad to say it might go into storage until then. Mm -hmm. um, but definitely it's going to be up for years to come at the new building. So can you explain the meaning of the mural? Sure. In one word, it would really be about community. Um, the idea that the long history of Canada, us as uh, not only newcomers, but you know, Canada's part home, we might have home somewhere else as well, but it's really just showing how community builds with people. Uh, let's show you piece by piece, because there's a lot going on. A lot of people might think it's really busy. Okay, let's go there. Uh, there's a pretty straight narrative. The composition's trying to push to uh, the Holy Spirit that's coming out of the earth, but also the majority of the line rays on site is going towards that area as well. Uh, there's a lot of Canadian imagery, but also the multinational or you know, multicultural aspect of Canada as well. So you see on the left, that's the flags that are comprised of the people that actually work on the mural. Mm -hmm. So um, we're not all, he all here today, but uh, we have from Italy, Philippines, Jamaica, Korea that are here. But also behind it, you see the east coast of Canada, so Nova Scotia, and then you can right, you go to uh, Montreal, Quebec, uh, so, they go to Vancouver, and we definitely have to show um, the influence and you know, definitely First Nations that were here first, knowledge, um, you know, the people that were here first, and then we go into uh, Children's Playing in Cornfield, which is supposed to be like Winnipeg, uh, you know, the central portion of Canada, towards the right, we get Toronto. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely want to show our support for veterans, so we have the poppy fields, uh, uh, person in the army saluting. Uh, the flag shows more national um, culture for Canada. By taking a portion of each panel and painting it all, like, as a whole. So a few students would do one panel and then another and then like, so on and so on. And then we'd all put them together to create a final product. Final yeah. product, yeah. Which turned out pretty good. So though, I mean, I'm personally proud of it. Aren't you guys? Yeah. Yes. Yes, I'm very proud. So that basically covers that question. Can you introduce yourself? Oh, are you Alana. Good? Uh, I'm Alina. Take the honors. Huh? Alina. Okay. My name is Joan. 
Hello. My name is Joanne. Joanne. My name is Ariane. My name is Miguel. Miguel. I'm Daniel. So you all made this possible, this mural? Yes. yes. Some okay. of them are not here. Yeah. Oh, how many were there actually? It was 12, but unfortunately they couldn't make it. 12 of you? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Okay, so you can see here how many murals we actually went through. Like this is each one, 12 kids, 12 students, each made their own mural first. So you can see how much work they put into this. It's pretty incredible. And from each one we took some pieces so every student was represented. Mm -hmm. And then from there we decided on one composition. And again, all the students individually came up with their own color scheme. Um, even though with some guidance from, from Mr. Tom and I. Mm -hmm. And from there we did a vote. They just couldn't vote for themselves. And then we decided on this one over here by Atlanta. And was, you know, we went from there and then we got to here. So it's pretty pretty huge jump from one piece to the next. Wow. But again, these kids are incredible. <laughs> As a learning experience, so we could um, practice to make the mirror. And, um, so once again, um, each one took them their own painting individually this time. So meaning that each one of us, the 12 of us, we made one piece each from a whole, a whole picture. Okay, guys, take care for now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> 